In this video, we have a circle with three equidistant points that are on the circle. The line segment AB is equal to AC and it's equal to BC. The radius of this circle is 58 inches. We need to find the distance between the points A and B. Let's start by connecting the center of the circle with each of these points. Then each of these line segments represents the radius and has the length of 58 inches. Now let's use the letter O to represent the center. And because one full rotation represents 360 degrees, each of these three angles is 120 degrees. So we can say that the angle AOB is 120 degrees. I will write this to the right that the angle AOB can be found by dividing 360 degrees by 3. Then the angle is 120 degrees. Now from the center of this circle we will draw a perpendicular down to the line segment AB. Then this perpendicular splits the line segment AB into two equal parts. Let's call this point of intersection point D. Then we can say that AD is equal to DB. This perpendicular also splits the angle AOB into two equal angles, each measuring 60 degrees. And now we have two right triangles that have the same size and the same shape. Now let's take a look at the triangle AOD. In this triangle we know one acute angle of 60 degrees and the hypotenuse of 58 inches. We can use the sine function to find the opposite side AD. So we will write that sine of 60 degrees equals the opposite side AD divided by hypotenuse 58. To solve for AD we will multiply both sides by 58. Then on the right side 58 will cancel and AD equals 58 multiplied by sine of 60 degrees. If we use a calculator then we will get that AD is approximately 50.2 inches. Now once we know the distance from A to D we can find the distance from A to B by multiplying 50.2 by 2. So AB equals 50.2 multiplied by 2. Then AB equals 100.4 inches. So in this problem we had the radius of a circle of 58 inches and we found the distance from A and B and this distance is 100.4 inches. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.